Today, we're going to meet this butterfly. In America, we call it the morning cloak. In England, it is known as the Camberwell Beauty. Its scientific name is Nymphalis antiopa. It gets its species name from Antiope, who was an Amazon woman of Greek mythology. It gets its name morning cloak, since it resembles the old Victorian morning cloaks worn by the widows a long time ago, like this one here, or this one, and here's a really good example that looks just like our butterfly. These butterflies, they live throughout the Northern Hemisphere. They can be found in Eurasia, in Alaska, down to Venezuela. They're known as the state insect of Montana. They live for about 11 to 12 months, which is one of the longest lifespans of any butterfly. The adults, they hibernate in winter. They come out in spring after the snow has melted. The larvae, they look like this. These are striking, spiny caterpillars with black bodies and a line of eight reddish orange dots running down their back. Now the adults are considered large with a four inch wingspan and they have several distinct markings. They're a dark maroon color. They have ragged yellow edges on the wings. And on the top side, they have these bright iridescent spots that you can see here. To avoid predation, they try to blend with their surroundings. Our morning cloak hangs out on the bridge since it's painted almost the exact same color as him. They also play dead by closing their wings tightly together and tucking up their legs into their bodies, standing perfectly still. Now, unlike other butterflies, the morning cloak is not a good pollinator. It prefers rotting fruits or the sap of deciduous trees rather than flowering plants. So you won't necessarily find them in your flowery butterfly gardens. Well, that's our resident morning cloak. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please have a great day. Bye.